So um, I kind of wanted to do a demo of a uh, sweet app that I built um, using um, shipping labeling as the sweet app that integrates in, into uh, NetSuite and um, just wanted to go over it and kind of see what people thought about it. So I'm going to start here. Um, most uh, shipping departments use um, utilities, Windows utilities, like the WASP labor, labeler here, um, where you just have, you know, a bunch of different formats for different customers and whatnot. And you can see that a lot of them are different, um, different look, different feel. Um, and also the biggest part is when you get, you know, a sales order and that order is fulfilled and you need to print out a barcode um, label. Um, you have to manually enter everything, which is uh, very time consuming. So the idea here was to um, have an integration with NetSuite where from the item fulfillment screen, you could automatically print these out without, and it would pull all the information from NetSuite. So let's take a look at how we could actually do that. So right now I'm in the client's account that um, I used to build this suite app. Um, I'm not going to show you uh, any uh, volatile information or anything, but um, I will go into what I started with. Um, I went into record types, and I actually created a uh, new record type. Um, it's called the shipping label utility record type. Um, from there, I looked at uh, the actual, actual, you know, Excel format, and you can see, you know, if you kind of look at this, how you could build this into the cloud and how you could put this into an HTML, jQuery type of um, format. Um, and so if you think of this as tables, so this would be, you know, um, column one, row one, um, uh, row two, column one, row two you know, column two, and kind of, you know, where you want these placed within, um, within the, uh, um, HTML suite lit that gets built off of this. So, if you look at, uh, some of the records, and I'm actually going to use Cisco because they're, they're a good example. Um, if I go into, okay, here's one, uh, Cisco Systems International, uh, box label, and, um, as you can see, there's 184 different types of formats. Um, these all get imported um, at the time that the Suite app would be integrated into somebody's NetSuite account. Uh, so let's go into um, Cisco Systems Box Label. And you can see here that I have, okay, row one, column one would be the from address. Row one, column one would be the to address. And that's just going off formats within their old WASP labeler system and how these formats were built. Um, so if it's a to address, if it's a purchase order number, manufacturer, PDI part number, and all of these are just going to get pulled automatically. Um, so once these are built, you usually do you know what barcode format you want. Um, does it have a border? Does it have a large font? Does it have a small font? Its size, you know, if it's a three by four, it's four by three and then the barcode width and height for uh, that barcode format. So basically getting off of this, um, you know, if you have a barcode width of 0 .012, um, the jQuery code that reads this will read it as 1.2, and it would re also read um, the bar height at 21.45833 for this specific example. Um, so from there, um, you know, you basically can, the, the shipping head or anybody in the shipping department, if they get a new customer, can come in and, you know, tailor this to exactly the customer's barcoding format um, using this column uh, idea. Um, so, yeah, let's see how it works now. Um, going to, um, you know, item fulfillments. And then you can look at this and you can see, okay, well, here's all these item fulfillments. 
these are picked, but some of these need to get shipped. But let's actually go into one that's already been shipped, um, just so we can show the uh, barcode that gets printed out here. Okay, so now we're at the uh, item fulfillment screen. Um, you can see, you know, you have all this information, customer part number, um, and all this information, you know, address, shipping, um, packages, the sales order number, package weight, package contents. Um, these all are going to get pulled into all the shipping labels related with this specific company. So if you go to print shipping label, It's going to come up with the. It's going to look at all the formats that were on that custom record type, and it's going to see okay, there's three different formats for this customer, and then it's going to pull everything um, using jQuery and using the NetSuite API um, to bring in all of this information. Um, now the cool part is that is you can print all of these separately. So if you need to print them more than once, and then all you need to do is press the print button, and it comes up with a nice looking print that prints out right onto um, a labeler using any type of labeler that you need. Um, it really stays within, you know, uh, the boundaries of the, the width and the height as far as, you know, if it's a 4 by 2 if it's a 6 by 4 um, whatever you need, it really, uh, it, the HTML code and the uh, jQuery code um, modifies it accordingly. Um, so this pr this would print off automatically, and then it would go right into um, print right out, and then you'd be able to put it right on uh, whatever you're uh, packaging and shipping out. Um, so that's the end of this presentation. I uh, hope you enjoyed, um, and hopefully you know more customers could use this. So, all right, thank you.